Yo, what's up guys? It's Mo here, and today I have something crazy to talk about. I never thought I'd be talking about this in my life, but it's about all this violence and hatred that's going on in this world, and it's kind of really, really crazy. It's bugging me out. I can't even sleep at night because of what's going on. Like, I, yo, you gotta, like, check in on your family, your friends. You gotta text people all over the world just to see if they're okay, because, yo, we live in an insane universe, man. It's 2016, and we still got racism out here today, and it's pretty insane. It's mind blowing, I can't believe it. So I've been going to this program for about 10 years now. I started off learning, now I'm a mentor. And basically it's what it, you see right here. So there's a black basketball, a white basketball, and they unite, man, unity. And we see the gray in between, cause we are all just different colors. Like it doesn't matter if you're green, orange, blue. Like that's just so cliche to say, but it's so true. I don't know why people take it so seriously and like, I don't understand why the hatred aspect is like I don't understand I'm telling you it's 2016 guys it's sports sports for example you could play sports instead of war man if you got beef with another country play a soccer game man just play a soccer game yo you got war with another yo play a basketball game let them settle it like like real men man like real men why are we going out there killing each other like how can somebody hurt somebody else it doesn't make sense to me yo i honestly if i hit somebody in basketball i feel bad yo like i'm like yo are you all right man are you okay are you all right if i if i somewhat hurt your feelings with a post i'm gonna text you and i'm gonna be like yo are you okay boy are you okay i'm sorry i didn't mean to offend you and then we got people out here shooting other people in the back like what how are you gonna stab somebody how are you gonna snipe somebody it makes no sense yo people who like Oh, don't even get me started, man. I honestly, like, I'm just mind blown at the fact that I can't go out every day without being scared that something bad's gonna happen. I live in a good neighborhood. I'm not talking about myself. I'm just talking about other people out here. Like, even in my neighborhood, you can't even, you don't even know what could possibly happen. Like, that's how crazy this world is, man. I might go outside and somebody is racist or whatever and has beef with my people and just decides yo i'm done with him yo let's get rid of this guy it runs me over like that's that's something insane that that could possibly happen in my lifetime about i've encountered some racist people and at first i was like all right whatever like and i'm still like that like i'm like whatever you have you're entitled to your own opinion i don't believe in it and i don't understand it and i'm never gonna be a racist type of person I just i just don't understand like why can't we all just make love and have babies like why why war why why and i'm not even like it's pretty insane because this really just only happens here in america when you think about it like canada hasn't had these kind of problems even third world countries don't have these kind of problems they might have other problems but they've never had problems like this like problems like this is something like so bizarre i don't understand it like how how can somebody be laying there on the floor, your two cops on top of him, and you still find the need to shoot him? Like, how does that make sense? You have him completely under your control. Completely. Like, that was the most sickening video I've ever watched in my life. I, I, I seriously, seriously can't believe how disturbing that image was. Like, it just makes no sense. I feel so bad for their families. I feel so bad for people out there that are really 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 seriously scared i have so many friends that their parents are so afraid of what can possibly happen to them and i'm sorry that you guys all have to go through that like it really is so sickening to me and it's just it's just a shame man it's a shame i feel like this world just needs to just needs to like go away man we need to start over we should all just i don't know we should all just die man Let's just call it a day. I quit. Like, I surrender. Wave my white flag, man. Call it a day. Like, we out. I don't want no more of this, man. I really can't take it. I seriously can't. Like, I'm, I'll go first, guys. If you want to kill somebody, kill yourself. That's just how it works. If you want to kill somebody that bad, just get rid of yourself, man. That's the only person you got control over. Let me take that back. I'm not telling anyone to kill themselves because that's kind of bizarre, too. Like, no, there's family out there. There's people out there that care about you, too. But what I'm saying is, why are you hurting somebody else? Why? Just please explain that to me. Somebody in the comment section, please explain it to me. Because I don't understand it. I've been trying to understand it for the past couple of days. So much has been going on. And guys, you can't fight violence with violence, man. It just makes a bigger fire. Honestly, it makes no sense. Yo, turn the other cheek, man. I know we've been doing that for a while. I'm sorry, guys. You guys just got to keep doing it. Don't, don't 
fight violence with violence. It just gets worse and worse and worse. And guys, I'm I'm out, man. New York City, it's been real. It's been real all this time. I'm seriously about to head out. I'm about to go to Canada, man. None of this happens in Canada. Canada, you guys are gonna accept me, man. Please accept me. With that being said, guys, I'm sorry once again. I can't apologize enough. Hopefully, like maybe 40 years from now, not even, like 50, 60, 70, maybe 80 years from now, we won't know it, but hopefully our kids, grandkids, whatever, they'll have a better life than we have now. Cause yo, it's seriously, it just, it's it's sick, man, it's sick. I'm, I'm probably never gonna have kids cause of this. Like, I don't want them to live every day scared of what's gonna happen. Even the problem them being safe. It's the problem that they have to witness what's going on. Like, I feel safe, but at the same time, I'm watching other people not feel safe. And that's that's disheartening. I thought humans were better than that. I thought Americans were better than that. I thought, I thought the world was better than this. And the violence all around the world is ridiculous. It's getting too overplayed, man. It's so mainstream, bro. Like, no, seriously, we need to stop. We need to end this. Please end this. Hashtag unity, man. Yo, you guys got to find a way to... To meet somebody a different race ethnicity because that's what we do in this program man we we teach these kids at a young age that we are all the same we teach them through basketball we teach them through life lessons and obstacles and stuff that you could get through it together that you shouldn't see shapes sizes colors any of that stuff none of that stuff matters what matters is what's inside because we're all bleed the same color we all bleed red Unless you like an alien. But at the same time, if you're an alien, I don't even care, man. You you still family, man. We all family out here. So there ain't nothing but a chicken wing, man. I don't even know what that means, but I'll see you guys later. I'm sorry once again. And oh, unity, man. Unity, man. Unity, man. Can't stress it enough. Unity. If you guys made it this far in the video, I just want you guys to know one thing. And that one thing is please make a difference in somebody else's life. Don't be filled up with anger because i know you all are i know i am i know a lot of people are filled up with anger right now and just take that anger and channel it into something nice do something nice for somebody from a different race they'll remember that and they'll do the same for somebody else like if i do something to this person they will know oh this guy did it for me i owe somebody else maybe you never know you might change somebody's life with one good deed so please go ahead and do that and uh, hopefully uh, a couple years from now I'll be I'll be looking back and be like, wow, we made a change. The world has become better. And guys, I love y'all. I love every single one of you with all my heart. You guys are all like brothers and sisters and cousins. And I mean, I love some of you guys a little more than that. Like, I don't want you to be family, but we all family. All right, I'll see you guys later. Keep it real. And uh, pray for a better place, guys. Pray for a better place. Peace.